Abelkota, the state capital of Ogun State, located in the southwestern part of Nigeria. This ancient city with rocky landscape and historical features is deeply rooted in Yoruba history and spirituality. It is a fascinating town with quaint home, built within its hilly terrain. The ancestral name for Abelkota is known as Egba. Climb Olumara. Arguably the most famous landmark in Abelkuta, a hill that served as a hiding place for the Egba people during the slave-taking expeditions of the Yoruba Civil War. The town itself is named after it, as Abelkuta means under the rock. What type of rock is Oluma rock? It's an igneous one. Its height is 137 meters above the sea level. But note, the height to the Egbas is not the relevance, but the role the rock played in their life. And what is that? It protected them and gave them shelter during the time of war. Over here we have a bar wartime hideout. There was war between the Egbas and the old Oyo Empire, and Egba people were looking for a place to hide. Who mm, are the Egbas? All Egbas are not from here. They migrated from old Oyo Empire seeking refuge within the caves, bringing about the name of this town, Abe Oguta. When they were outside this place and people were asking them, You Egbas, where were you during the time of war? They answered them, Asasi Abe Okuta. Abe Okuta means under the rock or beneath the rock. So you know where the captain name of Ogun State was derived from. There are man made stairwells that make climbing the rock relatively easy. And along the way are shrines, usually tended to by women, dedicated to different gods. Getting to the summit of the hill is worth the climb, for it gives you the aerial view of the whole town. But the Egba did not end there. The process of them seeking refuge, they brought about the term Ulu Walu Mo, meaning God molded it. If you abbreviate the term Olu and Mo, what does it give us? Olu Mo Rock. This is the priestess's chamber. Our uh, old women, you can see them. And over here we have a cocoa tree. Yoruba tradition, a shift or any shift fancy title must be installed with an a cocoa leaf. That is why they say that I can see a way oye, a we a cocoa. So this is a cocoa tree, and this one is specially for the Alaki of Eba land. This is the first mosque in Abelkuta at Kobiti built and started in 1926 and still standing to the very moment. Please, it is important to you know it's a great significance to the Muslim generation in Abel Kuta, and this is what we refer to as the Central Mosque. There are several colorful markets in Abel Kuta with lots of charming products on offer. Visit the Adire Mall at Ituku, which is the biggest Adire market in Africa. Adire is a traditional resist-dyed hand-painted cloth on which patterns are made by tying and stitching with raffia or cotton thread. Adire is a part of the Yoruba culture and tradition. The Aten culture has been passed from generation to generation. It has become one of the major sources of fashion apparel and a source of employment in the city. This practice is an age-long tradition, popular within the community at Abelkuta, an art that has been exported to virtually every part of Yoruba land and the country at large. Take a tour of the Centenary Hall. This architectural delight was built in 1950 to signify 100 years of peace in Abelkuta. It is a unique hall of fame for the Egba people, which in the past served as a venue for most town hall meetings and an avenue for interaction and socialization among the Egba people. The hall is a delight to explore and offers a lot of opportunities for photo shoots. You can wander through the St. Peter's Church Aki, which is the oldest church in Nigeria. The foundations of this historical edifice was laid down in 1846. The church served as a rallying point for a good number of early missionaries who were at the time spreading the gospel of Christianity in Abelkuta. 
This is Baobab tree. There is a saying in Yoruba land, Oni adoi kapa, akwa o kapa, adoi koche, akwa o koche. Awa o mode kon ka gyoche. It simply means your hands cannot go round it. And I pray for everyone here that the enemies do not triumph over us. Treat your taste buds to different mouth-watering dishes Abel Kuta has to offer, such as the Ofada rice, served with stew made on ripe pepper, and bits of beef or fish. Trust me when I say it is a delight. A city with captivating cultural history that boasts a variety of hotels, markets, and fun places that makes your stay remarkable. Explore Abel Kuta for an adventure of a lifetime.